Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're looking at the 2024 macroeconomics exam. This is question number two from set one. In order to do well on this question, you should be through unit four. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the total review booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your microeconomics or macroeconomics exam. Let's get into it. This question starts off with a table for us showing economic data from Luland. We're told the base year is year one and the GDP deflator in year two is 115. Based on the information we have in the table in the question, we have to calculate the real GDP in Luland for year two. And we have to show our work. Remember, real GDP is nominal GDP divided by the deflator times 100. Our nominal GDP for year two is 1,035,000. Our GDP deflator is 115. Plug in those numbers and do the math, and that gives us 1,035,000 divided by 115 times 100 equals 900,000 of real GDP. For part B, we are asked how the change in real GDP from year one to year two affects the demand for money and the nominal interest rates in Luland. Remember, the demand for money has two components. The first is the asset demand for money. That's the desire to hold your wealth as money. The second part of the demand for money comes from the transaction demand. That comes from the real GDP and the price level. The question here tells us to focus on the real GDP. And as you can see in the table, year one was 800,000 and we just calculated year two is 900,000. So real GDP increased. That will increase demand. And when demand in the money market increases, that's going to increase the nominal interest rate as well. So that brings us to our answer here. Demand will increase and the nominal interest rate will increase as well. And if you had those answers, you get your next point. For part C, we are asked if the standard of living for the average citizen in Luland increased, decreased, or remained the same from year one to year two. And we have to explain using numbers. The best way to determine standard of living in an economy is real GDP per capita. In order to calculate per capita real GDP, you're going to take the real GDP and divide it by the population. So when we plug in those numbers and do the math, for year one, we have 800 per capita real GDP. And for year two, we have 750 per capita real GDP. Since the per capita real GDP decreased from year one to year two, that leads us to our answer here, decrease. Because the per capita real GDP was 800 in year one and 750 in year two. And if you haven't answered something like that, you get your next point. For part D, we are asked what the inflation rate is between year one and year two, based on the information we have. And we can find that based on the GDP deflators. For the base year, the GDP deflator is always 100. And we are given 115 for the year two GDP deflator. And the formula for finding the inflation rate between the two years is new minus old divided by old times 100. Now we're going to plug in the numbers and do the math. 115 minus 100 divided by 100 times 100 gives us 15%. And if you state 15%, you get your next point. For part E, we are asked if wages increased by 10% from year one to year two, what happened to the real wages of workers in Luland during this time? And we have to explain. Remember the difference between nominal and real is inflation. So the percentage change in nominal minus inflation will approximately equal the percentage change of real. That tells us that if the inflation rate is greater than the percentage change of nominal, then real decreased. So that leads us to our answer here, decrease, because nominal wages increased by less than the amount of inflation, 10%. Is less than 15%. And if you have an answer something like that, you get your last point. There you have it. Those are the answers to the 2024 macroeconomics exam, question number two from set one. If after watching this video, you still need a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com and pick up that total review booklet. That's it for now. I'll see you all next time.